I guess it it begs to ask, do we need to be sober minded 100% of the time? I, mm-hmm. I would yeah. argue perhaps. Yeah, I would say so. I would also say that walking in Christ keeps you protected to a certain extent. So if there were uh, moments where, you know, there was indulgences that had happened, I'll, I'll keep this with alcohol too, because I do think that that is one of the main substances that is, you know, uh, from from Christian to Christian might, you know, there, there's a lot of deliberation and debate around whether that's okay. Because again, it is biblical, it's part of the Bible, but again, imbibing to uh, outside of moderation is not, right? So this idea of being buzzed, let's say, let's just start there. The idea of being buzzed means that sort of like you have released that burden of responsibility. So that's not, you know, working on your mind. You're not bogged down by that. So one could argue that you're actually more aware than you would normally be in an everyday circumstance if you're a little bit buzzed. Now, if you're drunk, obviously all of your sort of wits are gone and you're sort of at the the whim of whomever. And we could say that people are imbibing spirits to get to that place. So therefore spirits are going to inhabit them in that place. And that might be what we can call blacking out as some sort of possession event that's taking place, which is really interesting. But backing it up, if, when you're in a buzzed place, right, you're almost more uh, in. It, you're almost more engaged with your own agency, and in, in, to a certain extent, right, you're almost more present because you're not, again, concerned about the things that would be distracting you from the present moment, responsibilities, whatever else. Mm. So there could be an argument for that, right, and that would that would again, depending on the person, mean a couple beers, whatever it would be. But like you said, that biochemical response is that more of that is being called out of you in that sense so that so you're paying for it in advance whereas the next day you're then experiencing that hangover even if you only had a couple beers right you're still experiencing that 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 down tick in your energy in your uh, clarity in your clarity in your libido which we'll use that word here as psych- psychic energy as soul energy right we can use that in, in a broad sense your libido is lightened or lessened and so you're, you're you don't you have less of your wits about you less of your capacity you're, you're in less agency the following day so you're paying for it so there's sort of this roller coaster effect so one could definitely argue and i would make the argument that it's never really a good idea to use that even though you feel like you might be more you might be enhanced in some way being buzzed you're going to pay for it later mm-hmm, and what mm-hmm. does that mean are you going to be more vulnerable the next day to the spirit of anger to the spirit of frustration to the spirit of resentment to the spirit of laziness whatever it might be right you're going to be you're going to be more uh, vulnerable to those things the following day i would say for sure 